The thing is, people might have called you names and labeled you negatively. You might have been called a failure, termed as wretched and unable to achieve anything good in life. People might have called you barren, but that's not what God says about you. What they say does not define you, except when you let their words get to you. As painful as it could be, the solution is not to cry and lament. The solution is not to murmur and complain. That's tantamount to doubting God and His ability. Hannah had been going for some time to Shiloh, and every year, she was continuously reminded of her childless state. She had been lamenting and complaining to her husband, but nothing happened. The moment she became so pained and decided to pour out her anguish to God, she got the answer to her prayers. She had a new song on her lips, and she had a reason to rejoice. You are also going to rejoice. You will have a new song on your lips. People will join you to celebrate things that God will do in your life. Your state of barrenness will give way to fruitfulness. You will watch yourself blossom and prosper right before your enemies. God has promised to set a table before you in the presence of your enemies, and He will do just that. Have no fear and do not be anxious. Just take your situation to God in prayer, and you will see God's blessings in your life. One of the strategies of the devil is to make you lose hope and shake your faith in God. He will come in form of mockers and they will try to stop you from making any progress. Look at blind Bartimaeus, for example. While Jesus was passing, he shouted for Jesus to have mercy on him. The people that were around him tried to dissuade him, but he kept shouting and refused to keep quiet. When Jesus heard him and bid him come, it was the same people who called him to meet Jesus. So don't let the words of those people taunting you stop you. What they say don't matter as far as God is concerned. It is what God has said concerning your life that will prevail. So look up and walk with your head high and shoulders straight. There's no reason to be ashamed because God will do His wonders in your life. You are already blessed by God and are seated with Him in heavenly places. The manifestation of those blessings will soon become obvious as God blesses your business, finances, gives you the fruit of the womb, and blesses you in all ramifications. All of this is just a phase you are going through and will soon pass over.